If I Built a House by Chris Van Dusen. Jack, in the backyard, said to his mother, This house is okay, but it's like any other. It's boxy and boring and basically bland. It's nothing at all like the house I have planned. My house will be different. It can't be the norm. I'll think about traffic flow, function, and form. Oh, it may include shapes like a tower or dome, but I'll focus on weight, what makes a building a home. It's the rooms on the inside that make it unique. So step through the door. Let's take a peek. We'll start with the basics right off the bat. Check out my all-in-one kitchen o mat. You don't have to cook and you don't have to clean. It's done by a space age robotic machine. It makes all the meals and the food is delish. Then it washes and puts away every last dish. Whoa. The living room is next. It's fun. Come on in. The chairs and the table and the sofa all spin. And trampolines lead to a giant ball pit. It's a pretty neat room, you have to admit. Now, look in the bathroom. No shower, no tub. Instead, take a ride on my scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Just step on the belt and it washes you clean, even the places that you've never seen. And here's my bedroom way up in the sky, on top of a tower 200 feet high. With glass all around, just check out the view. A bed in a tower, now that is something new. The rooms we walked through just moments before are the kinds that you'll find in any decor. But if I built a house, I'd add a few more, so hop on the slide. It's time to explore. You know how I constantly like to create? Well, this is my art room. Isn't it great? You draw on the wall. Don't worry, it's cool. Hung up way high on a big giant spool is a huge roll of paper that hangs to the floor. Just draw till you're done and then pull down some more. Next comes my flying room. See how it's tall? It's empty except for one switch on the wall. Just turn off the switch and you'll float off the ground, then flap like a bird and fly all around. Isn't it nice to be up in the air? A room without gravity? Now that is pretty rare. Even the dog's flying around, huh? The mom's not too sure about that. This is my racetrack room. Step right inside. It's less like a room and more like a ride. It features a racetrack that loops all around with super fast go-karts that don't make a sound. You fly and you flip and you zip and you zoom. You have to admit, it's a wonderful room. How many of you would like a racetrack in your room? A room filled with water? Now that's something new. But if I built a house, that's just what I'd do. This is my fish tank room. Ain't it a sight? Don't worry, they're friendly. The critters won't bite. Just strap on an air mask to swim with the fishes. Now this is a room that every kid wishes. Do you wish you had a room like that? Sea turtle. Of course, I've been saving the best room for last. And literally speaking, this room is a blast. So welcome, sit down, I'll seal up the hatches. This plexiglass playroom completely detaches. You fly it around, why it even has jets. For me, this room is as good as it gets. My house will be nifty, my house will be neat. My house will stand out as the best on the street. Daringly bold yet exquisitely fine, a musty example of modern design. My house will be hailed as refreshingly new. If I built a house, that is just what I do. Check that out. He's doing the, the plans for it, right? He's using Legos and cardboard and maybe some straw and a cardboard tube and some other connect pieces to make his own house. Wow, that is the end.
I love this story because it reminds us that we can think creatively and think outside the box. And I'm curious, what would you do if you built a house? Let me know.